Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Iris T missiles from the German military. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1 Air to air and surface to air. The Iris T air defense missile system is very versatile and interesting. Unlike other defense systems where it's either surface to air or air to air, the Iris T is actually both. However, there are some subtle differences. The Iris T was originally air to air. It was meant to replace the American AIM 9 Sidewinders, and so it was launched from airplanes to attack other aircrafts. However, the German military continued to research and develop on this missile and have created a ground based variant called the Iris T SL. Unlike the Iris T, it has a pointed nose and a jettison drag reducing nose cone. The missile, instead of infrared, uses GPS inertia navigation system with radar data link to guide the missile toward its target. It still uses the infrared seek here, but is only activated at the last stage right before it hits its enemy target. So it is still quite different from the air-to-air -air missile system where it solely relies on the infrared system to home in on the target. Alright, let's get into the next section. Fact 2. Infrared heat seeking. As I alluded to in the previous section, the air-to-air -air IRST missile system is mostly guided by an infrared seeker. This is also known as a heat seeking missile because items or products with heat signature is going to have a much higher infrared signature than something that is cold. And so infrared seeking missiles have been around for a long time and is not a new technology. But as I mentioned before, the IRST was meant to replace the AIM-9 Sidewinder from the United States and the AIM-9 Sidewinder does use infrared for heat seeking as well. Heat seeking missiles are great for targeting aircrafts and other missile systems that are incoming in order to take them out. Unlike the AIM-9 Sidewinder, however, the IRST can actually see its target, meaning that it's not just a big infrared vision, but it's actually understanding the infrared signatures of various things and only go toward the target it's tend to destroy. And therefore, it won't be confused by flares or decoys, making it much more powerful and effective. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. Worldwide Operators The IRST is a very popular missile system. Taking a look at this map here, you can see it has been exported worldwide. Many countries have adopted to use the IRST missile system, and in conjunction with AIM-9 Sidewinders, the IRST system is actually fully compatible with the pods that hold Sidewinders. One of the reasons that this was made is because the German military wanted to make sure that the aircrafts that used to carry AIM-9 Sidewinders does not need to be retrofitted or made any changes in order to carry the IRST missile system. And so the IRST missile system is extremely popular because now Technically, you don't need some kind of specialized weapons pod to mount this missile. If your aircraft has a Sidewinder capability, you too can use the IRST missile system for air-to-air -air engagements. And against as I mentioned in the previous section, it is more effective than AIM-9 because it locks on and sees the infrared target rather than just blindly chasing whatever that's hottest. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4, a marine variant. Continue their research and development and to extend the versatility of the IRST missile system, the German military also created a submarine variant. This twine is called IDAS, or Interactive Defense and Attack System for Submarines. Currently, it's exclusively for the German military because it's not really widely developed just yet. This thing is a submarine-based launch surface-to-air missile that could both attack ships and land targets. The IDAS missile system is the world's first missile which gives submarines the capability to engage air targets while submerged, meaning that it does not have to surface in order to launch this missile. 
The first tube launch missile that does not need to emerge in the capsule and is directly fired from torpedo tubes, making it extremely versatile and powerful. In fact, you could fit four of these missiles into one torpedo tube for the German submarines. It's incredibly valuable for the German military to extend the usefulness of the IRST missile into marine-based applications. This is much easier on the research and development of new missile systems because you can leverage on existing propellant and guidance systems and simply adapt various characteristics to marine environments. This saves a lot of money on research and development and time to combat. All right, let's get into the next and final fact, $455,000 each. The RST missile is not cheap. It is roughly 400,000 US dollars per missile. And so while it sounds very expensive, actually the A9 Sidewinders is a couple hundred thousand dollars even more. And so you can imagine that the RST with better capabilities at a lower price makes it extremely attractive to worldwide militaries. And as a result, it's extremely popular. And as I mentioned in the previous section, has been exported worldwide. When you make something that has more technology, more effectiveness, and advanced capabilities, combine it with a lower cost, it's a no-brainer for militaries around the world to procure this missile instead of the AIM-9 Sidewinder. Not just a lower price, but the fact that the IRST can actually see its target and not be confused by decoys such as flare or other heat signature items makes it extremely valuable and easier to destroy enemy targets. All right, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.